everybody, my name is Haley, and welcome to this YouTube video. Go check out our channel called Haley and Ali, and check out all our other videos. And um, today we're going to be, um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a Polaroid snap. It's just like a Polaroid, but it's like digital too. But I have one of those, I got one of those, it works just like a Polaroid. But I think it would be a really fun thing to draw, so let's get on with the video for your materials you're going to need a piece of paper an eraser some tools to draw with like pens pencils sharpies and a polaroid snap or something that's shaped like that so let's get on with the video okay so the first step is to get your paper all straight and lined up Set the Polaroid maybe in the middle. You could do it with the cap or without the cap. I'm going to do it with the cap so it's just like a black thing. So um, you're just going to want to trace this with a pencil first so you don't get like Sharpie all over your camera. So I'll be right back when that ends up like that. Okay, this is what mine ended up looking like. But you could easily fix those extra lines with your eraser. I'm using a Shopkins eraser. You can get it at Target. I know Shopkins are kind of out of style anymore, but this is a really old one. It was very cheap, and um, it works great as an eraser. So let me fix up those lines for you. Okay, this is how mine turned out after I erased it. It's not perfect, but what it is going to be. So the next step is to basically fill it in with Sharpie. Well, not fill it in, but like outline it with a Sharpie. So let's get that step done. Okay, so this is how what it should look like, or more rectangular. Nothing's perfect, though. It's kind of lopsided. Sorry about that. But let's get on with the next step. See, the Polaroid fits great in there, but it has, like, a, a lens, basically, in it. So let's draw the lens right in the middle with your Sharpie. Um, my thing's actually really large, so, um, I think possibly we should, like, make it, like, not as this big. I, I suggest you don't make it, like, you don't use a king size Sharpie because it literally fits in there with, like, extra room to wiggle. So, I suggest you don't use, like, a king size Sharpie. You use, like, a thinner Sharpie than a king size it just goes quicker. I also noticed that there's a flash, like there's a light that shines, like your flash. And we should draw that too. So that's just pretty easy. All it is is a tiny little circle. So let's just draw that real quick. My flash button is not really that big. Sorry if the camera's moving around. I'm recording this on my phone. But my flash button is really not that big, and since this is white, I, since that's white, sorry, I just dropped my Polaroid, Th since this is white, um, I colored it in gray to show some abstract. The next part is, there's a red button where you do take the picture on the Polaroid, and I'll show you what it looks like. This button... I mean, the other buttons are pretty important too, but this button's the most important. So we're just going to draw a tiny red dot on the top of it. Like this. My red dot's right there. The next step is to draw the rainbow coming from the Polaroid. And, um, um, so first you're going to need red. Okay, it should look like this, but I actually did notice there's not a full rainbow, so we're just going to go to blue. So let's get orange in here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Start with the camera shaky and moving around everywhere, but I'm sorry. My phone's like that. This is what it looks like. You kind of want to, if I'm using like um, gel pens, you kind of want to blend them together if you could. Get all the sparkles off. Try to blend them, smear it around. It will look better when you're done. So, um, 
let's get on with the yellow. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So far, we just need two more colors. And the thing kind of gets lighter and darker. We aren't going to do that because we don't have all the right colors. So, you're just going to put green and blue in there. So, it will be done in now. Okay. If you noticed, I tried to make it smear, like, onto the outside of the lines. So, it looked like it was going off. But... Um, it really wasn't, didn't work, so try not to smear it as much as you can. So, this is basically your Polaroid. But there's, it says Polaroid here and Snap here, that's what, I got a Polaroid Snap. So let's add one more extra detail that you don't really have to add. Okay, if you can't read my writing, it says Polaroid, you can put Snap. You don't even have to do it. But, before we're done... Let's actually take a picture with of my drawing with the Polaroid. It'll be in, it'll, I'll show it right after we're done. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. I taped the picture I took, like I will do always with my art videos. I'll take a picture and tape it to my art picture, um, to my art. Always put down the date because it's a memory. And make sure you sign your name. Um, and thank you for watching. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're interested in it. Um, I don't know what else. But thank you and bye.